So there's a Daily Sun article that was published a few days back uh, saying pastors and Zangomas teamed up to stop the deaths on their highways. And so basically they, they gathered and they were doing these rituals and supposed prayers over on the highway. And uh, they were doing this so that they can avert the deaths that are occurring on the, on the roads and stuff. And so it's certain portions I want to go to and we read inside what are they talking about or what they are saying. But before we start that, I want to just read a small little portion of a Bible verse and then we'll go reading inside there. And then I got about four verses that I want to give you after that. So five verses total. And so uh, let's take that particular route. I'm going to read you the small little portion. And the first one is Isaiah chapter number 55 verse about number Number, number eight okay but if you if you begin from seven you can see the verse uh says something quite interesting there uh it puts out a, a a certain idea about how god sees the things that mankind get up to he says let the wicked man forsake his own way the righteous man his own and the unrighteous man his own thoughts now notice he needs in that verse, God wants you to recognize your state of being, meaning that you are unrighteous. Let the unrighteous man notice that he is unrighteous first. It starts there uh, on agreeing with God that you are in the wrong. And so, so that way you can be willing to, to acknowledge his way to begin with. It says, let him for sake. So if you go down to verse number eight, which is what I wanted to say, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither my ways your ways, right? And so it declares the Lord. He, so we, we, we can deduce from this here that God has a way and man, unfortunately, outside of salvation, tends to craft his own path. You are dwelling your <laughs> is it driving? Is it driving? I think. Is, is it driving? <laughs> Zulu people will correct me down in the comments. Is it, is it driving? <laughs> you are busy driving the way your own paths. The Bible says we are very much keen on such a, or a, such a thing. And so... That's the first thing before we go into reading this particular article. It's the Rick's Reality Show. The Daily Christian Commentary videos. If it's your first time over here, be sure to check out the other videos that are down in the pinned comments. And I'm going to check you out over there. Now, remember, we are studying a discipleship group. It's not like the study groups here, okay? There's a little bit more structure. You need to really keep these things to memory. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a discipleship group. If you don't know what it is, Send me a message over there. I'll explain to you what a, what's the difference between a discipleship group and a church message or something like that and stuff like that. And so uh, this is the members that are there right now. We are going to start the first sessions tonight. So do go over there. I will limit this group to about 100 people. Once we get to 100 people, I will have to stop it so that we don't have too many notifications. But also I need to build off the structure inside that group. Right, and so you go back up. It says uh, they are teaming up some commas and and all right, interesting. Pastors and three performing rituals and uh, to end horrible accidents on the notorious R R five twenty one between Bulukwani and Ma uh, Mahwati. Mahwati, is it? All uh, right, it says that a hor uh, as horrif horrific accidents continue to claim lives okay particularly within this particular region i guess the king the, the king of that particular area uh, called for this okay decided to seek divine intervention by just calling both groups i guess the chief uh of this organized the prayer where pastors and of different churches and Isangoma gathered to pray to perform rituals on this particular thing. Now, you don't know my thoughts on that particular thing or what I think the Bible paints out very well about our involvement with rituals is that 
Genesis chapter number six, as I've illustrated, is a very clear picture of why we should not do that when we continue to converse and uh, with beings from beyond life, there is a corruption that takes place. And this particular Bible, uh, the ch- chapter number six of Genesis shows that. He says, the thoughts of man was continuously wicked. And that's an example of what happens when one delves themselves into ritual practice. And so that's why God don't want us doing anything like that. Right. And so, to be very clear there, okay? Why should not be delving within these rituals and all these things? Right. It says the aim is to ask God to put an end to this particular thing. Okay? The recent prayer was done uh, after the lives of over 10 people, 10 teachers and two drivers uh, on the 28th of May. Uh, and then it goes on to name the kind of a car that was involved in this accident and stuff. Uh, the part that I wanted is this particular spot right here. It says, uh, we are tired of witnessing horrific accidents on the road uh, and burying our loved ones almost every weekend uh, because of the road. God is our last resort. Uh, that's the. I don't know if that's what the pastor said or if that's what... Isangoma said, uh, God is our last resort and we believe he will um, answer our prayers. All right. And he said, okay, so that's what was, was stated there. Now, as I stated, God's ways are different from our ways. In the last portion of that, of that, of that article, it says, I believe God will answer our prayers because he listens and there should be changes from on go, uh, going on forward. So, you believe that because you did rituals? Is that is that why you believe that? Or do you believe that because that's what God has assigned? I'm going to give you an example of a few verses. In Genesis chapter number 4, verse number 2 up until verse number 3, you will see something. It's, uh, it states out after Cain, uh, his brother, was born and so forth. It says, so in the cause of time okay so as time went on and the sons of K, uh, of a uh, of adam started to learn uh the ways of god this is what came up so in a time uh cain brought some fruit of the of the soil from uh, as an offering unto the lord and while abel brought uh, the best portions of his first fruit um of his firstborn of his flock because he used to till the ground the other one used to lead a flock and the lord looked so favorable uh, with favor on abel as offering so it's very clear in chapter number four of genesis there was one that was pleasing there was one that was not pleasing the that the wickedness of man was great upon the earth and the inclination of his thoughts okay every inclination of his thoughts uh, and of his heart were utterly evil all the time. There goes an issue right there. Okay, it's that they, their interactions with these beings corrupted their ways. Another example Exodus chapter number five, verse number two. You remember uh, Moses and Aaron are going to Pharaoh to, to release God's people, right? And uh, but Pharaoh replied, who is the Lord that I should obey his voice? Which is our tendency when we hear this is how God wants us to do. We're like, who's that? Oh, who's that? I got my ancestors. I got whatever. I, got, I know them folks. Who is this God that I should listen to him? You know, and that, that was his reply. You can see it right there. Who is the Lord that I should hear his voice and let them go? I do not know the Lord. Now remember, my ways are different. He said, I don't know him. And I will not let them go on the idea that he is the authority over the children of Israel. Numbers, Numbers chapter number 16, verse number 2. A rebellion against Moses amongst the 250 men in Israel renowned as leaders of the congregation 
uh, representatives in the assembly. So there was a there was some form of a resistance that started to brew amongst the people against Moses and Aaron. And what does it say? And they came against Moses and Aaron and told them, "You have taken too much uh, upon us." And uh, and and basically, just read the last line right there. He says, "Why then do you exalt yourself above the assembly?" Of the Lord, and so they were. They were even speaking as if they had what the assembly should be full of. Formed an alliance against the people that were meant to lead the message. We like creating our own ways. You know, for how long will people continue to? They continue creating their own version of how to reach God. Oh no, he will answer us. Why, why do you think he will answer this time? Because you did what he says we must do or because you did what you perceive God wants you to do. If you read the Genesis chapter number 6, we ought to have no interactions with people that are not, you know, these beings and the spirits and stuff like that. Y'all are there just busy talking to dead people and you think God is hearing you? Oh yeah, you know the ending of that. The ending of that article is very funny. You know, he perceives that now that they have done the ritual. No, we've done the ritual now. You know, God will answer. You read John chapter number three is very clear. Anyone who goes unto God comes through the Son. You guys have not gone through the Son, so why is it that you think the years that put out? Y'all remember? You want to join the group? I'll put it up. The number is over there. We'll run this one maybe for a month or two before I actually put out the second group, which will then kind of like be beginning from the from the start. I'm not going to allow the group to go over 100, okay? I'm going to keep it at 100 so that it's manageable and then uh, we'll then do the studies independently like that. So join that. Uh, I'll see you over there. If you have saved the WhatsApp number, the ministry WhatsApp number, I will leave the link over in the status. But... As soon as it gets to 100, I'm going to stop it there. Uh, we don't want too many people inside the group uh, um, until, you know, format it up, put it up in, in a para structure. Then I'll then announce the second group. So this is the first one. Uh, it's not going to be another one, maybe for a month or two. And then I will then bring the other group thing. So go over there, send a message. I mean, this group is almost filled just so that you you understand i announced it yesterday um let me see there and um we are almost closing 